diverse, authentic and utterly fascinating. Naxos is an island of wonders in the heart of the Aegean Sea. If you want to know what to do in Naxos, Greece, you've come to the right place. In this video, we will inspire you with the best things to do in Naxos and we will help you plan your trip to Naxos with a useful travel guide. The largest of the Cyclades islands, Naxos is unique in many ways. Unlike most of the other Cyclades, Naxos is a fertile island with lush valleys and running streams. Medieval mansions and towers that narrate the island's past are scattered across the island's glorious countryside, while the mountains of Naxos are dotted with fairy tale like villages. Let us show you what to do in Naxos, Greece for a trip you will never forget. Portara is the ultimate symbol of Naxos. This imposing marble gate at the entrance of the port of Naxos is the only remaining part of the unfinished ancient temple of Apollo. Portara is the most popular sunset spot in Naxos, and this is why it can get crowded during the peak season. Hora, or Naxos town, is where the heart of the island beats. Hora comprises the promenade, the old town, the castle, the grotta area, the modern part of the town, and Ayus Iorios Beach. The indisputable jewel of Hora is the Venetian castle that crowns it. Built in 1207, the Venetian castle of Naxos is a dreamy medieval settlement that seems totally untouched by time. Some of the best things to see in the castle of Naxos is the Roman cathedral, the church of Panagia Theoskepasti, and the old Ursuline Nuns' School. The old town of Naxos is built outside the walls of the castle of Naxos and you will absolutely love strolling around its maze-like whitewashed alleys. The Grotta neighborhood is home to the Orthodox Cathedral of Naxos and it enjoys spectacular views of Portara, especially at sunset. Naxos has been known for its marble quarries since ancient times. Back then, the island's top quality marble was used in architecture and sculpture. When someone ordered a statue, the sculpture would shape the statue right there at the quarry. However, if for some reason the statue got damaged, it was abandoned in the quarries. Some of the best things to see in Naxos are the three Kuros statues that were abandoned in the ancient marble quarries. Kuros is the ancient Greek word for the statue of a standing young man. The most impressive Kuros in Naxos is the one that was abandoned in the ancient quarry near Apollonas village. The Kuros of Apollonas is more than 10 meters tall and it depicts an ancient Greek god either Apollo or Dionysus. There are two more Kuro statues in Naxos, situated in the area of Lerio in Melanes Valley. These are about 5 meters tall each, and they are within short walking distance from one another. When you visit the two Kuro statues in Lerio, don't miss the chance to visit the nearby Sanctuary of the Springs too. Naxos is abandoned in pristine beaches with turquoise waters and long stretches of golden sand. There are beaches for all tastes in Naxos. 
from super popular ones like Ayus Georgios, Ayus Procopios, Plaka and Agia Anna to secluded exotic bays like Panervos and Psiliamos. Mikri Vigla is the best beach for water sports lovers, while Aliko Beach, with the largest seed of forests in Greece, is one of the most beautiful beaches in Naxos. Who would have known that an island in the Aegean Sea would be home to masterpieces of street art? The best place to admire street art in Naxos is the abandoned hotel on Aliko Beach. Its walls have been turned into works of art by several street artists, among which the famous Wild Drawing. Other places to check out amazing street art in Naxos are Hora and Filoti village. Damita was the ancient Greek goddess of agriculture and the fertility of the earth. Since Naxos has always been a fertile island, it's no surprise that Damita was widely worshipped there. The Temple of Damita dates back to 530 BC, but archaeologists discovered it in 1960. Visiting the marvelous Temple of Damita in the heart of Sagri Valley is one of the best things to do in Naxos. No matter its tiny size, Halki is one of the prettiest villages in Naxos. With its beautiful neoclassical mansions and century-old churches, Halki resembles the setting of a period film. One of the best places to visit in Halki is Valindras Distillery. Citron liqueur, the island's signature drink, is produced there. Moreover, while in Halki, you can walk along a circular path visiting many gorgeous Byzantine churches along the way, such as Agios Georgios Diasoritis and the Church of Panagia Drosiani, one of the oldest churches in Naxos. Of course, you can't leave Halki without trying the delicious Galactoburreco at Cafe Neo Galani. Speaking of beautiful villages, Apiranthos is one of the prettiest villages in Naxos and all of the Cyclades islands. Often called the Marble Village, Apiranthos feels like an open-air museum with its marble squares, narrow alleys and dramatic mansions. On top of that, Apiranthos is home to six museums, which is remarkable if you consider the village's small size. However, the most famous thing to see in Apiranthos is the imposing Tower of Zabrolis. Koronos is one of the lesser-known villages in Naxos. With its nostalgic, rugged quality, Koronos is irresistible. Built on the slopes of a ravine, whitewashed Koronos is one of the oldest villages in Naxos. It's now an essential stop for anyone looking to experience the authentic Naxos. Last but not least, Koronos is home to one of the island's best restaurants, situated at the plaza the village's main square. Muchuna is a small seaside village with a large history. Apart from marble, Naxos also produced emery. To facilitate the transport of emery from the mines in the mountains to the port of Muchuna, the island's only natural port, an aerial cableway was constructed between 1926 and 1929. This old aerial cableway is considered an engineering wonder of its time. In Mojuna, you can see the remnants of the aerial cableway as well as an impressive loading ladder. Filoti is the largest village in Naxos. Situated in the heart of the island, it's the ideal base from where to explore Naxos. Piloti is a vibrant village, with a lively square where locals and visitors alike hang out until late in the summer. When walking around Piloti, don't miss the stunning Balotsi Tower, 
and the Church of Panagia Philotithisa. Naxos is an island of incredible natural beauty and hiking is one of the best ways to appreciate its charms. There are many hiking trails in Naxos. Some of them combine walking with sightseeing. Following hiking trail number 6 will show you around the wonders of Melanes Valley, such as the two Kuro statues of Leryo, the Sanctuary of the Springs and the quaint Kuronohori village with the beautiful Pragopoulos Tower. Walking along trail number 6 is also the best way to get to Mili, a tiny village that's home to the quaintest cafe in Naxos. Another route that you shouldn't miss is trail number 2 that starts and ends in Filoti, visiting the gorgeous Arie Spring, Zas Cave and the summit of Mount Zas along the way. Built in the 17th century as a summer resort for Jesuit monks, the abandoned Jesuit monastery in Kalamitsia is probably the most awe-inspiring attraction in Naxos. It's an intricate complex of buildings that now stand in absolute yet enchanting neglect. Built in an area of unparalleled natural beauty, the monastery of Fotodotis looks like a fortress when you look at it from a distance. However, when you step inside, you are suddenly within the walls of one of the prettiest monasteries in the Cyclades. As we often like to do, we saved the best for last. Probably the most amazing places to visit in Naxos are the island's medieval towers. This architectural style was developed in Naxos between the 13th and the 18th century when certain historical and social conditions encouraged their construction. Nowadays, there are countless towers scattered across Naxos. Some of them are restored to their former glory, like Baseo's Tower, a 17th century masterpiece that dominates the surrounding landscape. Others, like Aya Tower, stand neglected but not forgotten, in total harmony with the stunning scenery that surrounds them. This is the mini version of the detailed Naxos travel guide we've published on our website. To read the full version, visit www.itsalltriptome.com or find the link in the description below. If you are currently planning your trip to Naxos, you can buy your ferry tickets, rent a car, book your hotel or check out the best tours in Naxos by clicking on the links in the travel resources section you will find in the description below. Naxos is a large island with many fantastic things to see and do. Therefore, a minimum of six full days is required to explore and enjoy it. This is why we have created the best six-day Naxos itinerary for you. You can download it by clicking on the link in the description below. As with all other popular Greek islands, it's best to avoid the peak season, which is roughly between mid-July and the end of August. The best time to visit Naxos is late May, June and September. You can get to Naxos by plane from Athens. Flight time is less than an hour and Naxos airport is just a 10-minute drive from Hora. Alternatively, you can get to Naxos by ferry from Athens. There are ferries to Naxos from Piraeus port all year long. Between May and October, you can also catch a ferry to Naxos from Rafina port. You can rely on public transport in Naxos, especially in the summer. However, driving is the best way to explore an island of this size and with so many incredible things to see. Naxos offers many top quality accommodation options. The most popular place to stay in Naxos is Hora, especially Agios Georgios Beach. There are also many hotels on the island's beaches, such as Agios Prokopios, Agia Anna and Plaka. For an authentic experience, you can stay at one of the island's quaint villages, such as Halki or Apiranthus. Apart from all its other charms, Naxos is culinary heaven. You can't leave Naxos without trying the local type of cheese, 
especially arsenico and graviera of Naxos. Moreover, keep in mind that Naxos produces the best potatoes in Greece, which means that you must try all potato-based dishes on the menu during your trip to Naxos. Naxos is a value-for-money island that has something for everyone. It's an island with unique architecture and rare natural beauty. An island where food tastes better than anywhere else because it's prepared with fresh ingredients and loads of love. An island rich in history, culture and century-old traditions. Naxos is the island you will always remember with fondness and one that you will probably keep going back to. If you enjoyed our video about what to do in Naxos, Greece, please like, comment and share it. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.